Hey, 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 you beautiful twin flames, and welcome back to Tarot for You 444. Today, I've got Mini Woody with me today, and we just found out, we just found out that he has got Tourette's, <laughs> which is only occurs sometimes when he gets in a really bad mood, and this means that, you know, he says... Sometimes he says words that he doesn't want to say. And because he's been in a bad mood today, he found some cards, which I'd forgotten I had. And they're from this kind of rude deck. So any of you who are dealing with third dimensional people right now, we're going to just see what... Woody, Nini Woody wants to say to these rude people and of course these are joke cards so don't take any of these messages seriously I kind of feel like the bottom of the deck is quite funny to begin with so the bottom of the deck says I love sarcasm it's like punching people in the face but with words <laughs> wow so maybe you've had some third dimensional consciousness people today that you wanted to say that to but this is the start of our twin flame reading but of course this isn't for your twin flame unless it is and only you'll know okay so we've got a few more the next one says I'm smiling that alone Oh, I'm smiling and there's no comma so I <laughs> hang on let me get this right I'm smiling that alone should scare you <laughs> oh this is what Minnie Woody's saying to all those third dimensional consciousness people on your behalf today okay yet despite the look on my face you are still talking <laughs> did anyone have a bad day at work today Okay, that one might. Ooh, this one's got a swear word in it. Okay, if you're waiting for me to give a bleep, you better pack a lunch. It's going to be a while. <laughs> Mini Woody being very funny today. Just keep talking. I yawn when I'm interested. That's a good one. I feel so miserable without you. It's almost like having you here. <laughs> oh, that one's a bit mean, isn't it? Okay, let's share. You'll take the grenade and I'll take the pin. Wow, oh wow. That's for all of you who had a really shitty day at work today. <laughs> and that was kind of funny. So thank you, Woody, for making us be low vibrational just for just for three minutes and 28 seconds i hope you're all having a beautiful day today i kind of had a little bit of a chill day and what we're going to do today is we're going to do some comparisons between the masculine and, fem fem <laughs> the and feminists i mean the masculine and feminine wow I don't know why I feel tongue twisted or tongue tied. I'm shuffling the masculine deck right now and he's ready to go here. So now I'm going to shuffle the feminine deck, but I feel like there's some stuff not being said on either side. Maybe they can't get to one another right now. You know, maybe they've got some projects or some stuff going on. Or maybe third dimensional people, third dimensional consciousness people are getting in the way of their connection in some kind of way. I'm just waiting for the feminine to finish here. There we go. She's ready to go. Alrighty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking from the tops of both of these decks and we're going to go... Feminine, masculine, feminine, masculine, see what happens, okay? 
So let's go. I better just put them the right way up. They're either the right way up or the right way down. I'm not sure which one today. I feel like there's a bit of a conundrum going on with the twin flames. I feel like there's some topsy-turvy energy. So this is the comparison we get for the first one. This is for the thinking space and the divine feminine is thinking kind of small actually. She's not dreaming really big at the moment. I feel like she's just trying to maybe get through her week or get through her day or get through the moment. She's not expecting anything really big to happen, but she is moving forward in the physical world. She's feeling slightly vulnerable though. The energy of the masculine is in full creation mode. He is literally feeling as though he's powering forward with some kind of creative project or endeavor and I feel like he's not ignoring the feminine but he's just got so much on that he doesn't know where to to draw the line you know <clears throat> so maybe the divine masculine and my throat shark was playing up a bit so I feel like he wants to say some things but he can't right now because his eye is on a different prize So the feminine has this ego battle here with others in her life and I was just talking about how you know third dimensional consciousness people people who are still unawakened people who are still living from their ego can be quite annoying and this annoying feeling is going on within the feminine because she's she can't she kind of can't understand why they're doing that she's like well you know I've begun to learn how important it is to be in my heart space and perhaps in my mind space when I'm dealing with people who are incongruent or non-resonant with who she is The masculine is seeing the feminine as a little bit ungrounded, a little bit unstable. And I feel like this is making him not come in. So for those of you who are in semi-union, as in you talk to your divine masculine on a regular basis, um, I'm kind of not really talking to you but I kind of am at the same time. So he feels as though, it's interesting, he feels as though the divine feminine isn't taking care of herself as good as he might take care of her. And yet he's kind of pushing his own boundaries within his own life. So, I mean, I haven't had an exhaustion card here, but I do feel like that they might be, you know, staying up a little bit later than they should. I feel like they might be, you know, pushing their mind or their body in some degree. And there is a little bit of judgment coming from the masculine, but only because he cares for her only because he wants the best for her and he doesn't really want to see her fail. Interesting. <laughs> wow. So the divine feminine sees the masculine as being in some kind of conundrum in his mind. You know, why, why isn't he reaching out to me, perhaps, for some of you? Why doesn't he think more highly of me? Doesn't he know I need to hear from him? Doesn't he know I need a message? So the divine feminine is coming back into the mind space instead of the feeling space with the masculine here and she's stating what she thinks about the masculine as well. So there's a little bit of judgment going on from both parties here. 
His is more of a concern that he wants her to be okay and hers is more of a judgment as to why he hasn't been coming in. If he has been coming in, he hasn't been coming in as often. Wow. We then get this Two of Cups card here, which is, of course, one of the best Twin Flame cards in the deck. I want to be with you. I want to have, an, you know, a relationship that's even. So, you know, I'm not better than you. You're not better than me. And for some divine masculines who aren't ready to be romantic just yet, they are looking at this necessary step of friendship first because we have to remember that the divine masculine comes from a logical place. So his logical place is very important because this space is enabling him to think things through you know i need to have a proper friendship with the divine feminine before i can think about achieving anything romantic and if there is already something romantic he wants it to go the distance and if something needs to go the distance it means that he needs to in his mind he needs to plot and plan and use his resourcefulness um, in a long in a long shot kind of way so he not a long shot as in it's not going to happen but a long um, what am I trying to say in a long standing way so that it's going to go further the divine feminine is wondering about you know the connection with her masculine it feels very ethereal right now it feels very metaphysical right now many divine feminines are having this feeling in the 5d or in their dream space or in the astral space where they feel their divine masculine but maybe he's not coming in in the physical world and this is because <laughs> wow we have the maybe card there's something on the horizon for him that's coming that's really lucky and I feel like it's either to do with work or to do with his future prospects and this is of the utmost concern and so he's putting this before everything else the divine feminine is expecting him to make an apology where have you been <laughs> you know she's kind of she's kind of thinking maybe he's going to say i've been to london to visit the queen and that's where i've been i've been taking such a long time you know some divine feminines haven't spoken to their masculines for weeks perhaps months and for some it's been years and so they're thinking there should be some apology when the divine masculine comes back in isn't this beautiful though the divine masculine's thinking of the divine feminine in a really long term quite romantic and loving way if you notice the beautiful picture in the card here this is a woman who is praying perhaps or who is very spiritual and very in touch with her emotions so although on one hand he's feeling like she's ungrounded he also knows that inside of her is this big warm juicy um, <laughs> big warm juicy heart and he is really attracted to that because it makes him feel safe and it makes him feel like he's at home so I want to take a little break from doing the comparison now and get some love messages and then we'll continue with the comparison. So let's see what the feminine wants to say first of all with the love messages and then we'll go to the masculine. The feminine feels very quiet. I feel like she feels very quiet she's kind of hermiting herself a little bit she's not really wanting to get in huge conversations with people at the moment 
This is what she wants to say to the masculine. Do you even realize how amazing you are to me? Many feminines, you know, wishing that they could spend time with their masculine so that they could say this. And about the separation, if that's what's going on for you, I'm sorry that this is how things turned out. So even though she's kind of half expecting an apology from her masculine for not coming in, she also feels a little bit alone. And then she says, I won't give up on you, so don't give up on me, please. So she's hoping that the connection is still there. Now we're going to do the masculine some love message from messages from him. Oh, wow. He's got a lot to say here, I feel. Wow. Okay. So we're going to take four from him. As I said, he's been busy doing projects or busy with something coming up in the future that's really important and he can't let go of it. So he says, please don't doubt my love for you. It's the only thing I'm sure of. And just in case you were wondering, Divine Feminine, he says, I'm addicted to the way I feel when I'm thinking about you. I turned out liking you a lot more than I originally planned. Ever since I met you, nobody else is worth thinking about. And for both twins together, we have this energy of, I can't stop thinking about you. You are on my mind 24-7. So it's this understanding that they are you and you are them. Really beautiful energies coming forward. So let me continue now with this duality, the duality reality except I'm going to switch it around and I'm going to swap cards. Divine Masculine is going to now be here. Divine Feminine is going to be here. And I'm going to shuffle. Like I said, it feels a little bit topsy-turvy at the moment. It feels a little bit like the Masculine is coming into the Feminine energy and the Feminine is coming into the Masculine energy, um, which means that there may be a switch so whoever has been the chaser more likely the chaser wow is really um gonna flip around so if you've been chasing your masculine a lot this energy is gonna flip around and he might start chasing you and if you're in separation and nothing's going on there may be some movement forward really, really soon. So the feminine wants to say, where have you been, divine masculine? Have you been to London to visit the queen? Remember I said that before. She's disappointed because the connection that they've shared in the past has been really beautiful and it's also been very mentally trying for her. She's trying to overthink the journey here. Where is he? You know, why doesn't he love me? Why isn't he coming in? And his reply is, <laughs> I've had some shit going on in my life. For real, for real. We have the tower here. Hmm. It's not really a negative tower. It's a tower of, I've been finding myself. I've been moving forward in my life. I've been dealing with this whole world situation. It's been kind of weird. It's been kind of crazy. And yet I'm still moving forward. So he's kind of proud of himself for moving forward. Um, <laughs> the divine feminine she's really overthinking this she's really going you know um she's manifesting her own difficulties within the within the twin flame journey because she's going well you know if he's at work and he's busy surely he's got time to just text me for five minutes on saturday afternoon or something like that you know what i mean like, 
if he's got time to be posting on social media, then surely he's got time to message me or something like that. But it's She's trying to put an outcome to it. And I've said this before with the journey that the journey is all about feeling. It's all about being in unconditional love. You know, whatever you're being is what you're going to be attracting. So right now she's thinking and the thinking the thinking about him is pushing him away in an energetic in an energetic le- on an energetic level and many twin flames don't realize that even twin flames who are in union still have to maintain their own vibration and not consistently think about the other person as in questions like well where are they why aren't they home from work you know let's say they live together why aren't they home from work yet you know what are they doing how come they didn't call me all of that chasing energy is something that they can't do even even when they're in union because it pushes the other twin away so the divine feminine is feeling the separation right now and the masculine is just feeling like he's got some stuff to do in his 3d world that that's kind of just for him it's like I'm on a journey and I have to keep going I can't really explain it to anyone right now it's kind of something that is personal to me so it's kind of like when you're in the separation phase and you know you can either bless it or curse it right so you know when you're in the separation from your counterpart you can either say well what a blessing I get time to myself I get time to better myself I get time to you know do those things I've been wanting to do and learn about those things I've been wanting to learn about and maybe you know spend more time doing meditation or yoga or prayer or whatever it is that you love or you can curse it and say well you know my twin flame never comes in my twin flame never shows up why hasn't he you know called me why hasn't he reached out to me etc etc and when you're in that energy you're pushing your counterpart away so he's not actually uh, trying to be any kind of way with the feminine at all he's just focused you can see his focus is on where he's going you know he's got to be careful about where he's going in this card because it's about to get dark there are crows around him and it's also very cold so there's this feeling of I've got to be able to sustain myself so maybe they need more sleep because their work environment's been really tough lately Maybe they've got some projects which they can't get out of. Maybe they are, you know, moving forward in some kind of way, but it takes time and effort. And so their full focus is on those things. Now, I've talked about this before in my Understanding Men and Women series, how men compartmentalize everything. So when, when they think about, their counterpart or their twin flame they think about their counterpart or their twin flame but they don't mix that with work so they wouldn't be you know thinking about let's say they're an accountant they wouldn't be you know working out someone's finances as an accountant and also thinking about their twin flame at the same time because their twin flame is in a different compartment a different file in their mind now the divine feminine's kind of different because she will join the dots everywhere so she'll be at work you know while standing on her head <laughs> and juggling 10 different things and she'll also be thinking about her divine masculine and she'll join it all together like a big scribble on a page you know that's kind of how the female mind works <laughs> she joins everything together um, so she can multitask a lot better than the masculine can in most cases 
the feminine's also worrying about who the divine masculine's hanging around with. Is he thinking about someone else other than me? Maybe he's got someone else that he likes. Or maybe if she's not jealous, maybe she's actually wondering whether or not other women are taking an interest in him. And that kind of bothers her because she really feels that the divine masculine belongs to her. The masculine intuitively knows that he needs to reach out to the feminine really soon. He doesn't want to let go of her, but at the same time, if he doesn't continue on this trajectory with his project or with this idea that he's pushing forward, he feels like he might never get it done. And he's taking, you know, he's, he's using a lot of courage to move forward in whatever he's doing right now. The divine feminine might have been also having a few issues with money in the recent past. You know, she's not feeling as abundant. And the reason she's not feeling as abundant as usual is because of the worry. Because she is worrying about the future. So this would be considered a little bit of anxiety perhaps that she's having. She's worrying about the future um with her masculine she's also worrying about the future with what her own life purpose might be um or how she can move forward and integrate her life a little bit better the masculine sees her as being really successful Although she might have been seen as being a little bit ungrounded at the moment, he sees her generally as being, you know, getting her own way, being able to move mountains, you know, um, which is really good. He's seeing, he's seeing that she doesn't really need any help, I guess we could say, like she's independent. We have another four here. Notice we've got the four of coins in reverse and then we've also got the four of swords in reverse. There's a real need for the divine feminine to slow her thinking down. I feel like many of the divine feminine have perhaps tried meditation or prayer in the recent past and they haven't been able to, to uh, stop the monkey mind from thinking. They haven't been able to relax as much as they should have been and you know even if they went out into nature even if they went for a long walk or even if they did something that was supposed to be calming this mind is still going at a hundred mile an hour we have the potential for the masculine to come out of this hanged man phase out of this phase of not speaking of not talking, of not communicating. He wants to do that, but because of the energy of the feminine being in her mind space rather than in her heart space regarding the masculine, he still hasn't kind of come to grips with coming out of hiding. Wow, this next card here is interesting because it denotes that many divine feminines are feeling as though you know there's been some kind of treason against them you know how come I'm always helping everyone how come I'm always doing the right thing and I'm not getting it back so we can see that there are still thoughts going on which are suggesting that the divine feminine wants some kind of outcome here and Oh, wow, the masculine can feel this energy. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse. He can feel the energy of her being disappointed in him or pissed off with him or um, not necessarily happy with him. And so he's not feeling guided to reach out. 
Now this won't resonate for all of you today, but for many of you it will resonate and you'll be wondering where oh where is your divine masculine right now. Maybe he's coming in intermittently or maybe he hasn't come in at all. Um, but the, you know, the feminine has just got so many cards with swords at the moment and swords are always mental thoughts. So she needs to be able to quiet her mind and stop worrying about when the messages are coming. You know, some of you check your phone regularly, uh, you know, for a message. And some of you are really reliant upon the outcome of your masculine coming in. And this doesn't denote a letting go or a surrender by the feminine. And the twin flame journey really needs surrender to happen. You know, you need to love your divine masculine no matter what he does. And even if he never did choose you, even if he never did uh, come in in a romantic way, you need to love him anyway. You need to bless him anyway. You need to be there for him anyway because that's what unconditional love is. And quite often we don't talk about the sadness that occurs in the divine masculine. Quite often we don't realize that he has a difficult time reaching out to people especially in the third dimensional reality because of his own sadness of his own um, disappointment in his life because he's trying to come through as being you know having it all together or being macho or being masculine in general so he doesn't necessarily tell anyone about what's going on with him that he's perhaps worrying that he's hurting that he's, you know, feeling like he could use some more support. So he goes this journey quite alone. And the feminine can feel very alone in this journey too. But the masculine also has to deal with this feeling of being on his own. Now the feminine has this hope. She has this wish that the divine masculine will come in soon. I know that many of you pray quite often and that you send love and light or peace or hope or whatever to your masculines. But I want to tell you not to do that. I want you to not see your masculine as being separate from you. So don't send them love. Don't send them light. Don't send them anything because they are you spiritually. Okay. And if you're sending them something, then you're telling the universe that they are separate from you. So that's one of the things that I would, you know, if I was coaching someone on the phone or something like that, I would tell them to stop doing that immediately. You know, the divine masculine is with inside of you and the divine feminine is, is with inside of the masculine uh, take gender how it resonates of course the masculine and feminine are purely energies and some you know there'll be some gender change there um, and just take it how it resonates for you right now the last thing the masculine wants to say is the six of wands here the six of wands is this victory card he feels victorious in his own life he may be feeling a little bit miserable at times, but in general, he's moving forward. He's trying really hard. He's actually a really great um, role model right now for the feminine. So if the feminine could take a leaf out of the masculine's book, he's trying to be positive. He's trying to move forward. He's trying to embrace his life in a really victorious way wow i just went to go grab the bottom of the deck here <laughs> to see what the bottom of the deck said for the masculine we have we have the two of wands in reverse but i nearly dropped the cards all over myself so the two of wands in reverse you know he feels that the feminine doesn't realize that he's worrying about his future you know she's worrying about where she's going 
but perhaps she doesn't understand that he's a little bit afraid of where he's going to so notice how there's this wand over here that she's not seeing and that's him he's right with her all of the time he's right next to her all of the time but she's looking out into the future or into the distance for him you know maybe he lives abroad he might live across the road but she's looking out the window for him and in the spiritual sense he is within her already so this is the mistake that the divine feminines often make is that they're looking outside of themselves for the masculine and the masculine is within them within their heart so on the bottom of the deck for the feminine is this nine of swords energy again another swords card it's in reverse in the recent past i was worrying perhaps losing a little bit of sleep thinking about my divine masculine um also perhaps you know we have the wolf here you know is he a wolf in sheep's clothing is he blinding me in some kind of way is he pulling the wool over my eyes you know why isn't he coming in because if someone was genuine about me then they would come and speak to me but we must remember that in the twin flame journey the way to bring your masculine to you is energetic it has nothing to do with what you're doing and it has everything to do with what you are being okay so we need you to be unconditionally loving divine feminine we need to remind you to come out of that monkey mind and back into the heart space and to follow your own uh, let's say follow your own yellow brick road right now follow the guidance that you seek from source energy and you know stop worrying about the physical form of your counterpart because you know as you do that as you think about them as you try and check them out on social media or as you um, you know check out their website or whatever they have on either online or you know even in the real world like if you know that they've got a business and you live close by and you keep driving past then what you're telling the universe is that they are separate from you and you continually sending out this vibration of I'm separate from my divine masculine and as you continually send out this vibration the universe sends it back to you and continues to allow the separation to occur so what I want to say to you now is to make sure that you go within make sure that you connect to source make sure that you quiet the mind and as you do that you're going to find that everything changes for you a big shift is about to happen for twin flames and um, it really has a lot to do with the six six portal that we just went through congratulate yourself for coming this far congratulate yourself for having the understanding that you do already and know that you're still on a journey which means you're still learning you're still you know grappling with you know this runner chaser dynamic perhaps and for those of you who are in semi-union and waiting for the borders to open I feel like this is really coming in on the horizon very soon for you so I want you all to keep the faith and remember how much I love you and if you're guided to send me a message via email please do that don't forget to like subscribe share and comment if you feel guided to do so and do any of my courses or you can even do one-on-one -on -one coaching with me if you want to as well all of my information of course is in the description box below and I hope you have a beautiful beautiful wonderful amazing day night afternoon evening or morning wherever you are in the world and remember that you are perfect in all of your imperfections and I hope to see you really really soon and I'm saying bye from Australia for right now and um, have a beautiful rest of your day bye everyone bye